This is your Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, June the 19th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. James Spann is on vacation, and I'm filling in for him. There's a look, first of all, this morning at a uh, shot of the temperatures across the country yesterday afternoon. Certainly a lot of red, very, very warm. The only places cool generally are New England and the northwest United States. This morning we have a couple of beautiful sky cam shots. There's one from Mount Cheha, the highest point in the state of Alabama, and another beautiful uh, sunrise shot from the other side of the state, from Hamilton, and uh, at Hamilton High School. So just two beautiful shots this morning with a little, little, uh, little bit of cirrus that appears across there. The surface high pressure is still located uh, generally along the east coast of the United States, and that's nosing across the southeast and keeping us essentially dry with an east to uh, southeast flow across our area in the upper atmosphere. We're building a ridge very strongly, as we've been talking about for the last several days, and that ridge is certainly getting stronger. It's going to ebb and flow just a little bit in response to the westerlies across the top of it, but uh, for the most part, we're going to stay under that ridge. There's a look at uh, the dry weather. Uh, the the fact that the green line, which represents the dew points, and the red line, which represents the temperatures, are pretty far apart indicates that it is rather dry, with the exception of that little uh, gap there or that little spot where the two lines get close together around 800 millibars, and uh, that's where we've seen some clouds, especially mid-clouds. Still warm across the country. You saw those highs yesterday, and uh, certainly uh, 70s all the way up into the Gulf Coast, or into the Great Lakes from the Gulf Coast, actually, and so uh, a lot of, lot of heat across the central part of the country. The uh, QPF forecast, quantitative precipitation forecast, suggests that no rain for the next five days, but a lot of uh, tropical mischief down there in the Florida Peninsula with five inches uh, in the Keys and uh, certainly some good rains across the Great Lakes area, where uh, the western Great Lakes, where uh, the traveling weather systems are. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk of severe for the area from northeastern Nebraska across uh, parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota into the upper peninsula of Michigan on day one. Day two, no specific areas listed, but still sea text in that same area, plus some sea text up in New England. Now, things have changed in the tropics just a little bit. We, uh, uh, it looked like we might be headed for another tropical uh, system uh, out there in the Atlantic, North Atlantic, but now it's dropped back on the likelihood of it be, uh, developing. And uh, the conditions are just not favorable over the Caribbean right now, but we'll be watching that cloud mass for a while. 06E GFS model run, and the model run with the GFS and the European are in fairly good agreement, but there's our ridge. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, building uh, uh, northward across the eastern half of the country and up into southeastern Canada. That short wave or the, uh, the, the substantial trough coming across the Canadian uh, provinces uh, is dampening the ridge somewhat and kind of uh, nudging it off uh, the coast just a little bit on uh, Thursday. And then uh, we can see on uh, Friday, that's uh, some of our best shots right here. And I still think we'll only be isolated uh, for showers as a cold front comes down into the Ohio River Valley. We see some uh, disturbances, uh, some, some weather in the Florida Peninsula area, but uh, don't think that's going to get to us. Uh, that uh, troughiness moves by very quickly, and as it does, the ridge is going to begin to build back in on Saturday, and so we still have isolated possibilities for showers on Saturday, I think. We dry back out on Sunday as the ridge builds much stronger over Texas and Oklahoma with a 594 contour. And there's a look at the European, and actually both of them in good agreement in both position and in the strength. So certainly confidence seems pretty high in the forecast. We stay that way Monday as the 594 contour uh, uh, shrinks just a little bit and it gets a little bit smaller. We can't see the 594 on Tuesday, but the bottom line is even though we have a northwesterly flow pattern, we stay uh, rather uh, dry and warm. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, certainly a uh, nice sign here. The GFS suggesting that the ridge will break down somewhat, not nearly uh, quite as strong, and that's good. Uh, let's hope that that's true. That means uh, it would be a little bit cooler, but the bottom line is the ridge stays with us, so it looks like one of those situations. This is July 4th. It looks like the situation where we might see some scattered showers, uh, but otherwise uh, uh, just a typical summertime weather pattern. 
Well, that'll do it for this Weather Extreme video. Appreciate you uh, staying tuned. Expect to have the next one posted uh, first thing on Wednesday morning. In the meantime, Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.